Islamic preacher claims that women's football causes wildfires. <laughs> On July 23rd, Morocco's female football team reached the Africa Cup of Nations um, women's football finals after a 5-4 penalty shootout victory against Nigeria. This milestone sparked controversy after a Moroccan preacher, Hamza uh, El Khaldi, um, claimed the success, their success invoked God's wrath and led to natural disasters and economic calamity. He claimed their wins invoked God's wrath because women's football matches are, quote unquote, undoubtedly forbidden because their sports attire is impermissible for Muslim women. The preacher pointed out that watching and broadcasting women's football matches, as well as Morocco, Mor Morocco's hosting of the tournament, was a huge sin and was subjected to undesirable consequences. He remarked on Facebook that, Facebook that, quote, everyone who watches women's matches is without a doubt a sinner, and they should repent to Allah for the great scandal. Recently, Morocco suffered devastating damages due to wildfires. Uh, blaming the football team for natural calamities is minimizing the effort put into the match by all of the athletes. This is so ridiculous. I don't know what else to add. It's just like, just read the news and just like, I don't know what else to add. Um, how, um, isn't that kind of shirky? Like, I'm not shirky, but isn't that kind of like knowing the, the mind of God? Isn't that kind of like a no no in Islam? Hmm. Like, claiming, claiming to know what God is, Hikmah is, like, should, isn't it like, Allahu alam is supposed to be a thing in Islam mm -hmm. where you're like, mm -hmm. I don't know what God is. God obviously has a good reason for why he does things, but we are, we mere mortals uh, are not able to make the connection. We just know that it's for a good reason. So how is he making, claiming that he knows that this wildfires are in response to women's football? This is un-Islamic. This is ridiculous even by Islamic standards. Oh yeah, and there were a lot of there were other preachers. Some some preachers backed up what he was saying, and then some were like, "What the hell is he talking about?" <laughs> yeah. See, guys, we're like, guys. Here's what I want to say. Look, here we don't just um, take the opportunity to take a dump at Islam, at the entirety of Islam. I mean, we do that often, but we're fair. Like right? here, we're like, this is not even Islamic. Like, come on, this is like even by Islamic standards, this is ridiculous. Right, so we're very fair here. We are fair to Hindus. We're fair to Muslims. Um, we're fair to yeah everybody, but yeah, but also God's. Uh, if this is God's hikmah, it, it sucks. You're like, okay, I don't like these women's soccer, so I'm gonna burn burn the jungle? whole country. Burn yeah, like what is like? Okay, so I don't know what animals Morocco has in its forest. But imagine like cute little babies or whatever animals live there just being roasted alive. And you're like, why? Because women, because these other animals are playing soccer. Like, yeah, so yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. like suffer. You have to experience this pain. Oh, by the way, the animals who are dying from this heat, uh, you know, in, in the forest, like you have to understand that they don't have a soul. So it's not like they're going to be in heaven for them to be like, okay, fine. You had a very miserable death, but now you're in heaven. So mm. no, they just got, God just decided to ro roast them alive for something. These animals had nothing to do with <laughs> like, like, well, like what, what is soccer? Like, why are we like, I don't understand. It's funny. He also blamed the cost of living crisis in Morocco, like the high price of stable, stable goods, like on female footballers. <laughs> Right. I guess you're saying, oh, wait, is he like trying to say that he knows what God wants? Well, it's well established what is the guideline for what is permissible for women to wear. So he's saying, well, you guys aren't doing that. Maybe it, it just seems like a natural guess to be like, of course he's going to punish us for that. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, guys, to be fair, this Islamically, most Muslim, most Islamic scholars don't like don't say something like this they say like the the way the punishment like they say this is haram i mean look at those legs i mean come on right i mean right so they're showing and this is haram uh morocco is a more liberal country relative to a lot of other muslim countries so they allow 
stuff like this but a lot of muslim uh ulama don't like it so they constantly complain about it okay but even the people who complain about it the understanding is that it's not the far she's gonna burn okay like the god's hikmah god's wisdom means that she will pay for it in hell okay those legs will be burning right those legs will be on fire for those thousands. legs <laughs> Yeah, no, literally, like the, because she's sitting. No, the, the parts of your body that you're sitting with are going to be the highlight of torture in her, hell. Okay, that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Right. So, given that she's throwing those legs, those legs will be experiencing a lot of pain in hell. Okay, but that's what's supposed to be Islamically. That's what's supposed to be on fire, not the forest. Eventually. So. Yeah, yeah you raise a good point. <laughs> yeah. See, I know my I know my Islam more than these so-called mullahs. More than this, um, ulama, I mean, yeah. <laughs> PK is saying they need to study cli about climate change. Well, and Islam, apparently. These Islamic <laughs> scholars don't even know Islam. <laughs> they need to study climate change and Islam. So, uh, somebody saying, Mega Leach is saying, are you saying her legs are hot? As hot as they are, they will be infinitely more hot in hell. That's what I'm saying. You, you ain't lying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Some some men don't like very muscular legs of women. So depends on your taste. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.